We got some exciting news. Help us build a strong community and be a witness to the powerful movement of God. You can now join us on Patreon. You'll not only be supporting the work of It's Prayer Time TV, but you'll also gain access to exclusive benefits such as early access to content, behind-the-scenes updates, exclusive merchandise, and so much more. By becoming a patron, you'll be helping us to continue to create and improve the content we produce. Your support also allows us to invest the tools and to expand our reach to new audiences. Want to know more? Just click on the link in the description. Thank you so much for your support. We look forward to seeing you on our Patreon page. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare today as your humble servant seeking your divine protection and guidance in this spiritual warfare we face. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Lord, I pray for your armor of truth, righteousness, faith, salvation, and the sword of the spirit to be upon us as we face the enemy's attacks. Surround us with your heavenly angels and create a hedge of protection around us to cover our body in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every evil force that may come against us through air, through wind, through fire, and through water. I plead the blood of Jesus over our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our soul, and our spirit. I decree and declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that every principality and power of darkness in the atmosphere must bow before your authority. I take authority over every spirit of fear, doubt, unbelief, and confusion that may be lingering in the atmosphere. I command them to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind every demonic force that is seeking to hinder or harm your people and I decree and declare that they have no power or authority over us. I release the power of your Holy Spirit into the atmosphere and I ask that your presence would fill every space and place. Release a fresh outpouring of your anointing and that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon us. Our Father God, send your angels to encamp around us and protect us from every every attack of the enemy. Hide us under the shadow of your mighty wings. Shield us from any fiery darts of the enemy. Surround us with your peace and your love in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your divine in 
intervention in our environment be renewed in the name of Jesus. Father, we take authority over every demonic force that is responsible for the pollution, destruction, and exploitation of the environment. Father God, I bind the spirits of greed, the spirit of selfishness, and apathy that are contributed to the degradation of your creation. Oh Lord God, I decree and declare that they have no power or authority over us. In the name of Jesus, heal our land air and water from any demonic coverts. Father God, expose the the hidden agenda of the enemy restore the balance and harmony of the environment and bring a renewal regeneration to the earth father i pray for your people to be good stewards of the environment and to take responsibility for the care and preservation of your creation lord god they will be mindful of the impact on the environment let the wasted pollution and exploitation be reduced lord god let your your wisdom and guidance fall upon our leaders that they would make decisions that are in alignment with your will. Thank you, Lord God, for your creation and for the privilege of being able to enjoy the benefit from it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you break any chains that are holding back the progress of our careers. We pray, Lord God, that you would release them from a strongholds that may be hindering their growth and their success open new doors of opportunity and provide us with the resource that we need to excel in the name of jesus Fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and revelation from you, O oh Lord God. May we be led by your Holy Spirit and make decisions that align with your will for our lives. Lord God, we know that the enemy comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But we also know that you have come to give life and life abundantly. We ask that you would rebuke any plan of the enemy and protect your children from any harm and danger. Lord God, we come against the plans of the force of darkness. We ask that you strengthen us with the power of your mighty and, and fortify us with the impenetrable shield of your divine protection. Deliver us from the machinations of the evil one and nullify every strategy plot and scheme that he has devised against us. Let your infinite wisdom and knowledge enlighten their minds and guide our steps to thread the path of righteousness that leads to victory. Implore to dispel the darkness that shrouds our souls and illuminate our hearts with the radiant light of your glory. Let the sword of truth cut through the veil of deception and expose the lies of the adversary in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus to break the chains of bondage that hold them captive and set them free from fetters of sin and guilt. Lord God, let the power of your grace and mercy transform our lives and renew our spirits. We entreat you to overwhelm the forces of evil with your omnipotence and demonstrate your supremacy over all principalities and powers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let the name of Jesus Christ be exalted above every name and let his blood shed on the cross be the fountain of life and healing for your children. We pray that our peace which surpasses all understanding would guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord God, may we walk in the fullness of your love, grace, and mercy for we bind any spirit of division. We bind any spirit of strife. We bind any spirit of discord that may be causing problems within our families. Lord God, may your love be the foundation upon which families are built in the name of Jesus. Father, we war for the release of finances. Your words say the devil must pay sevenfold according to Proverbs 6 verse 31. We decree and declare that you pay now, devil, 
pay now, devil, right now in the name of Jesus. Never again will our finances be messed with or tempered with. Lord God, break any chains of debt, lack, or poverty that may be holding us back. Father God, release us from the strongholds that may be hindering our financial growth and success. Open new doors of opportunity and provide us with the resources we need to thrive. Fill us, O Lord God, with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding when it comes to managing our finances. Lord God, may we be good stewards of the resources you have entrusted to us. May we make godly decisions that align with your will. Father God, who have come to give us abundant life, rebuke any plans of the enemy and protect our finances from harm in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, give us the strength and courage to stand firm in our faith, to resist the enemy's temptations and schemes, and to overcome every obstacle that may come our way. Fill us in the name of Jesus with your Holy Spirit and help us to walk in obedience to your word. Let salvation and deliverance come upon those who may be held captive by the enemy's lies and deceptions, hopelessness. Open their eyes, Lord God, to the truth of your love and grace and bring them into the light of your salvation. Lord, we war for those who may be struggling with fear, doubt, and anxiety in the midst of this spiritual warfare. Let the peace that surpasses all understanding fill them with your comfort and strength. Let unity become a harmony among the believers so that we may stand together as the body of Christ, supporting and encouraging one another in the face of the enemy's attacks. Lord, I decree and declare that your light may shine brightly in the darkness, exposing the works of the enemy and revealing your truth and love to all those around us. I ask that you would use us as instruments of war that dismantle every attack of the enemy. Father God, I surrender all worries, fears, and concerns to you, knowing that you are in control and that nothing is too hard for you. You, according to Jeremiah 32 verse 17, I trust in your promises and in your unfailing love to give peace and not evil and to give us an expected end. Lead us, Lord God, and guide us to the spiritual journey that you have called us to do. Father, fight against those who fight against us. Fight for those who may be facing spiritual battles in their personal lives, whether it may be their relationships, finances, health, or other areas. We pray in the name of Jesus that you would give them the strength and wisdom to overcome these challenges and that you would bring restoration and healing to any areas of brokenness or pain. Break every stronghold and every chain of bondage that may be holding your people captive. Set them free to walk in the fullness of your grace, your mercy, and your power. Lord, I pray for the the church as a whole that we may be a beacon of hope and light in a world that is filled with darkness and confusion raise up leaders who are committed to your truth and your ways and who are willing to stand firm against the attack of the enemy let there be a revival and spiritual awakening in our communities our nation and our world pour out your holy spirit in a mighty way convicting hearts and drawing people to you. Lord God, we pray for those who are actively engaging in spiritual warfare as missionaries, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, the fivefold ministries. Lord God, strengthen and protect them boldly to proclaim your message of salvation and hope to a lost and hurting. Give them supernatural courage, wisdom, and discernment as they confront the powers of darkness and proclaim your victory over sin and death. I pray for those who are suffering persecution for their faith, whether it be in the form of physical violence, discrimination, or imprisonment. 
I pray, Father God, strengthen them in their faith. Give them the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord God, let their witness be a powerful testimony and that there would be many drawn to you through their witness. Lord, give us a heart for prayer like Elijah that prayed earnestly according to James 5 verse 16 through 18 that we may be diligent in our intercession for one another and for the world around us and through us. Father God, teach us to pray according to your will and to seek your face in all things above and not beneath. Oh Lord God, we decree and declare that our minds are being renewed. Transform our hearts just like yours that we may be confirmed to your image let there be a reflection of your glory in all that we do lord god give us the fruit of the spirit so that we would bear much fruit for your kingdom we pray for families who are in the verge of experiencing spiritual battles within their homes uh, we decree and declare peace be still between the four walls of their houses in in the name of Jesus. Father, bring unity and peace with the four walls of their lives. Let their marriage be protected from any demonic or satanic attacks. I pray, Lord God, that parents would be empowered by your spirit to raise their children in your ways. Your words say, train up a child in the way they should go, and when they get older, they will never leave, according to Proverbs 22, verse 6. I pray for those who may be struggling with addiction or other forms of bondage. Father, let that chain be broken in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that you are free, and whom the Son set free is free indeed. Hallelujah! We pray for those struggling with mental health issues. Satan, loose them now. Let them go. Release them now. Loose them now. Let them go. Release them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we usher healing and restoration to their minds and emotions. Lord God, protect us from the schemes of the devil who seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. We put on us the full armor of God that we may be able to stand against the fiery darts of the enemy. I decree and declare we are strong in you and you in the power of your might. We resist the devil and his schemes in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for the victory that we have in you. Your tomb is forever empty. The work of the cross is fulfilled with hope and salvation. You have conquered sin and death, and you are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord God, cover those who are in leadership positions in our government, our churches, and our communities. Give them wisdom, discernment, and humility, and that would lead with integrity and justice. I pray that they would be able to discern the enemy's schemes and stand firm against them. Father God, I pray for the church, your body as a whole, that we may be unified in your love and purpose. Remove any division, bitterness, or pride that may be hindering our fellowship and witness. We decree and declare the victory that we have in you and for the promise of eternal life with you. Lord, heal our land, which is filled with pain, suffering, and injustice. With the mercy and restoration, remove the brokenness in our quarters. May we never face an evil wars, poverty, and natural disasters. May we never experience any kind of distress. May you reign in our hearts. Fill us, Lord God, with courage and remove any fear of displeasures. Our spirits are groaning and yearning for the full power of your manifestation. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. We decree and declare our nations will not face any challenges or divisions. Our communities will not face any challenges or divisions. Our city will not face any challenges or divisions. 
Our house will not face any challenges or divisions. Our marriages will not face any challenges or divisions. Our families will not face any challenges or divisions. Our churches will not face any challenges or divisions. Father God, send your spirit that bring unity and reconciliation where there is no division and no strife. In the name of Jesus, release our love one in the justice department. Let our children never have to face any problems where they would need a lawyer to represent them. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of prayer and for the privilege of being able to come to your throne of grace to activate your prayer banks. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let the balm of Gilead dismantle every sickness and diseases. May we never face any type of sickness and diseases. Free us from any physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, past hurt pain, pain in the name of Jesus may we never struggle financially we decree and declare that you are Jehovah Jireh our provider and you shall supply all our needs according to your riches and glory through Jesus Christ our bank accounts are secure our finances are secure our lives are secure our children are secure our houses are secure our marriages are secure our monies are secure our cars are secure our families are secure our health are secure our future are secure father my life is in your hands father God our lives is in your hands we pray this prayer in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen amen amen